Hello, welcome to Wootton, North Abingdon Project. We are probably about three to four months in within this project. I'm going to walk you through what we're doing, the changes and alterations we made, and where we're up to the project. We're pretty much done with everything on first fix, plaster, decorators are coming in, kitchens getting ordered, windows are coming in. We've reconfigured this quite significantly, which we'll show you with steel work and new stud walls and things like that, so it's quite exciting. We're taking it from a three bedroom, one bathroom property, to a four bedroom, potentially reception room, could be blagged as fifth bedroom, depending on who's buying the property and whether they need that as an additional bedroom. So three bedroom to five bedroom, and from one bathroom to three bathrooms. So come on, Blue, let's have a look. So before uh, we took this property on, it was very dark and dingy in this area. We haven't actually extended the building, uh, but we have reconfigured it in some ways. So the kitchen used to be where you stood, Jay, and then the sort of dining room was further down the back. There was a wall that ran all the way through, which you can see where that seal box did, where that originally was, you can actually see it in the floor plate. And there was another wall that went this way. So you had this back, this back room, which had French doors at the back, which was really dark. And this room was the darkest room in the house because you had no real good lighting in there. And this was like an ancillary room. So we whipped out all the walls in here. We completely opened it up with this main steel, which you can see, and the rear steel that sat over to create the opening for bifold doors, which are going at the back. And then this is forming the T, so we're tying it all in. So this is all open plan. The kitchen is going in here. We've got a really nice sizable island with a hob, so you can have sort of four or five stools on the other side, as well as all the kitchen units down here with the integrated fridge at that end and the sink right next to the window. And then this side, we will have a nice long dining table space area. And we try to keep it functional um, around the back here. So this will be your sort of sofa, day lounge. You could have evening snug uh, or office as a, as a secondary space. We've kept this opening in, so you can use it as an opening if you want. So let's say you're having a bit of a party, uh, you can use all of this flowing area as a function. We'll go into the snug sash office later. That's the additional one that could be a bedroom. This is a WC that we created, just purely because people that live in three, four, five bedroom houses want to have a bathroom downstairs for, for ease. This is the rear door that leads to the actual quite extensively large garden. So through to the uh, reception room, it needs a bit of work, obviously, so it's been plastered. We are actually waiting um, to finish plastering off this bay window um, because we want these windows replaced and the new ones going in. So once that detail is finished, we can then obviously get this completely decorated. Architraves are in and skirting's going in as we speak today, Rich is working on that. We've got quite a clean feel architrave. Everything will be painted in gloss, brilliant white as a woodwork, and then brilliant white on the walls because we're selling this one, we'll leave the owners to choose colours and things like that. We've gone for a natural timber doors which, and we'll go for a natural timber flooring and then an off-white carpet flooring. Cool, so back into the hallway, which is actually quite sizable if you didn't ignore these boxes. So you can imagine a nice console table there for keys and things like that, which leads us on to upstairs. That front door is being changed. So onto the hallway upstairs. Now this had two doors, very traditional toilet on one side and bath suite on the other side. We've knocked this all together. Because we're providing three bathrooms, we think we can get away with keeping this all in one. So we're gonna have a nice P-shaped bath here, which can obviously double up as a shower, tiled round to the window, a nice big family size sink, and then a toilet there, uh, and a towel rail as well. This is, all this glazing is getting changed uh, for new. We then have the original, master bedroom, which is really nice double size, but for me it's a bit underwhelming for a house of this size and this nature. So this is now probably considered the second bedroom. Um, but again, not a quite nice size. So in here, new windows, replastered and repainted. The originally third, second bedroom, but now the third, a nice good size, but it's row size, so it's probably the second region one we just looked at. Exactly the same gig in here, so all new electrics, all new plumbing, replastered, repainted, and new window. Now, I'm gonna stop us here to sort of have a look at what we've done. So this is this property didn't have a loft conversion before we bought it, and we knew that we could get it in the loft space, so we designed it. The architect that designed the scheme actually had the staircase running down and losing this bedroom. So I worked pretty hard to work on tread heights, steps, and to get the elevation that we need in such a short space. Um, obviously you can see there's a few twists and turns, but I wanted to create it onto the landing rather than creating this room as the landing in you know, a really small cupboard. So I wanted to keep that bedroom. 
The reason why it's pretty irrelevant to lose a bedroom and gain a bedroom upstairs is probably you're probably better off knocking it out as it is and not doing enough conversion. But we managed with quite intricate design to get the staircase in and keep this uh, last bedroom. So this is now a fourth bedroom. It is a small room, but it's perfect for kids or, you know, it, you would fit a double bed in there so it's of a good size. And then we'll go up to the loft conversion and show you what we've done up here. You'll see throughout the property, including in the kitchen, that we have LED strips for hallways that might be dark, but there is a big window going in there. Which now brings us into the loft room, uh, which is basically what, you know, what we got for free. The space was, was not utilised. Uh, we got planning consent to do the loft because we wanted to put in the gable window and these two Velux windows in the room, and then another Velux in the ensuite shower room. This room, in my opinion, is probably the master because you've got the ensuite and you've got some nice storage. A really nice detail that I like in here, you'll see the LED strip all the way along actually plastered in to the ceiling joint, so it's going to be a very, very clean finish and, and make it feel a lot larger and airy. And then the bathroom in here, which we, we've just been discussing bathroom suites of what we're going to fit in there. So that's going to be a quadrant, 800 shower, a nice white goods toilet and sink and shower out too, and, and a nice feed up that's going in there. In addition, we've moved the boiler from the hallway landing. You might see when as we're walking up the hallway landing, there was a nice drying room or boiler room. Uh, we've actually moved the boiler into this eave space down here, and we fitted that at the back of this cupboard, so that's going to form a two-part function cupboard with the boiler at the back and then storage for everyone using the room. That's obviously not using storage, maybe that side of the wall. Um, anyway, but that's all this was the road. Three bed house to a five bed, three bath. And to run some quick numbers, and we budgeted to spend about 130 to 140 thousand pounds on this property. We bought it for 310. We think the gross development value is about 600k. Uh, we're on time, on budget, and we are also uh, in conversation off the back of the pre-app with planning consultants and architects to look at getting a shallow bungalow planning permission in the garden. That's all to come, and we'll probably do a separate video to share more info about that. Um, but this, in it, on its own merits, in terms of purchase, build, and sale, still makes us a profit which is the main reason we bought this site. That's obviously a bonus in the garden. If you'd like to see more of these house renovations, HMO projects, flips, whatever it may be, please like, subscribe and follow. Me, Rob, Jay and Dawn and the team will be sharing as much as we can to add as much value, but we'd love to hear your support, questions, and hopefully we can get around to answer them and helping you get onto your property journey.